Turn to India, the country is aggressively pushing into 6G technology with its Bharat 6G vision and aims to become a global leader by 2030. There are also state-funded programs to connect rural areas to the internet. We spoke to the Indian Minister of Communications, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, about these plans and spectrum allocations for the 6G technology where Starlink is a potential new entrant to the market. Here's part of what he said. On that 6G, we're on track. The Bharat 6G Alliance has tied up with uh, close to about uh, 10 such networks across the world, ranging from the US to Korea to uh, Europe, uh, pretty much uh, to Africa across the world. Uh, we, I, I take a quarterly review. We've got seven verticals working on different streams. Our aim is to be able to contribute 10% of patents to 6G uh, when uh, the um, the rules get uh, put in place by ITU and 3GPP. Uh, I said this uh, many times, and I'm saying it again on your show, that we walk behind the world on 4G, we walk with the world on 5G, we will lead the world on 6G. Uh, on uh, spectrum allocation for satellites, uh, we have given out three licenses uh, to uh, OneWeb, Reliance, and to Starlink. Uh, we are, have now two things pending for them to comply with the security regulations for, for which experimental bandwidth has already been given to them. And the second is for us in government to come out with the pricing uh, for the administratively assigned spectrum, which is the case across the world. Uh, that's something that's WIP. Uh, uh, it depends on the regulatory authority when they come out with their prescription on the pricing. The third uh, question was with regard to uh, uh, Bharat Net. Uh, we have a very, very ambitious program to provide uh, OFC connectivity uh, to every hamlet and to every village across this uh, length and breadth of uh, India. Uh, it's the largest publicly funded program in the world, $16.9 billion. Uh, we have already connected 214,000 uh, gram panchayats. There are a total of 256,000 gram panchayats in India. The balance, uh, 43, are uh, being connected in uh, uh, the Bharat Net program. And the initial 214 that were connected in uh, Bharat Net 1 and 2, uh, which were in linear topology, which meant that if the line was cut in one place, it would cut all the villages down the line as well. We're converting those to ring topology. Uh, that's part of amended Bharat Net as well. Uh, we have. Uh, Tendered out uh, out of 16, uh, 12 uh, parties have already been assigned. They are starting work uh, and the handover takeover, which we call in telecom terms, HOTO, uh, is happening as we speak uh, and execution is going to happen. I also spoke to the minister about India's growth trajectory and the reforms that, would we, that we could see next year. Here's part of what he told us. India is a uh, dynamic economy under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, we are uh, always a country that is on the move. Uh, we are a country that would like to set the trends uh, from an economic paradigm, from a social paradigm. Uh, and that is something that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi heralds uh, on a quarterly basis. Uh, his management style is very hands-on, uh, it's very bottom-up, uh, and therefore uh, uh, his policies are also uh, looking at a very uh, developmental and economic uh, uh, growth-oriented future for the country. And therefore what you have seen uh, this past parliament session, whether it was the nuclear bill or the reform in the uh, Rural uh, Works Guarantee Bill uh, are all steps in that direction. India over the last 12 uh, years has transformed uh, 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 hugely. There is, it's not been an incremental change, it's been a monumental change. You've seen a uh, $2.1 trillion uh, economy turn into a $4.3 trillion economy. Uh, the 10th largest economy in the world, now the fourth largest economy in the world, hopefully by 2027, uh, the third largest economy in the world. So India is making giant strides, uh, not only uh, on her soil, uh, but also, for example, our space program, which is extremely ambitious, uh, looking at Chandrayaan uh, uh, 
uh, three, which has plant, supplanted itself on the South Pole of the Moon, uh, the first country to do so with Vikram Lander. Uh, Aditya L1 encircling the sun, uh, hopefully sending our own astronauts into space through Gaganyaan. So across the paradigm from semiconductor, fab chips to uh, space exploration to building a FAL, final assembly line in India for aircraft, uh, to rural works guarantee schemes, to digitization, uh, where you've got UPI transactions uh, making close to $4.3 trillion per year, 20 uh, billion transactions a month, 48% uh, of the world's digital transactions uh, that occur in India. India is moving at a gargantuan pace, uh, and we would like to set the trend uh, for the world, and the reforms are part of that uh, of that exhilarating pace. But could you give us a preview to what we can expect in terms of reforms in the next year? Well, as I told you, it's a continuum. And uh, this is going to continue in terms of ease of doing business. Uh, uh, the Prime Minister has very clearly told every single department uh, to look within, to look uh, without, uh, and to make sure that we uh, concentrate on EODB, ease of doing business for every single citizen across the country, for foreign investors uh, and the like. As you know, we've signed many trade pacts uh, recently with, uh, we've done a SIPA with Oman, uh, we've done one with New Zealand, uh, and that is going to diversify our trade basket, having been a uh, former Minister of State of Commerce and Industry as well. Uh, uh, it's going to diversify our trade basket, it's going to diversify our portfolio, uh, and we are we are looking at all avenues of growth. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, you know, I only ask this because you brought up Oman and New Zealand. And of course, because our global audience is very, very keen to know more about the U.S.-India trade deal or when the tariffs will be reduced. Uh, have you heard anything uh, that you can tell us? Is there anything that you can say that will give us a sense of the timeline around you this? What's expected? It's still getting baked. You will know when it happens. Uh, I, I, when, uh, when that point is reached, uh, all of you, all of us will be informed.